Hello chess lovers, Sonnet here and in this video I want to share with you the fifth game of 1978 Tal vs Kasparov friendly blitz match. Up to this point Tal is leading the match with 3 wins and 1 loss. We are good to go with the fifth game where Tal had white pieces and he opened up with d4. The future world chess champion answered with knight f6, knight f3 g6, c4 bishop g7, Knight c3, black castled king's side, e4, d6. Kasparov is going for king's Indian defense, against which Tal is choosing the classical variation. Bishop g5. Here, as you know, white has a wide range of options. King castle king's side can play bishop e3 or d5 or d takes e5. In the game, Tal decided to pin black knight, h6, bishop h4, and knight c6. Kasparov is making a dubious looking move, which is allowing white to win a pawn. Uh, instead, uh, playing e takes d4 or knight bd7 is better. In the game, we see knight c6. Here, Tal played d takes e5, and once black recaptured, Tal first went for an exchange of queens on d8. Oops, we see knight takes d8, and then went for an exchange on f6 and forked the bishop and the pawn. So the line starting with knight c6 allowed white to go for a simple combination and win a pawn. An extra pawn is always a good idea, you know. White castled queenside knight c5. Uh, well, knight f4 is better. In this case, black is maintaining better chances. Rook d8 or rook e8 can be played. Uh, instead we see knight c5 and there followed knight takes f6. King takes f6, knight takes e5. Now if king takes e5, then rook d5 check can follow. That's why in return Kasparov won this pawn on e4. Knight d7 check, forcing another exchange. Rook takes d7, rook fd8. Well, as you may have already guessed, knight takes f2 can't be played because of this rook f1. If king e6, then rook d4 and where are you going to move back your knight? Uh, in the game after rook takes d7 we see rook f d8 and rook takes d8 by Tal. Well, Tal is hurrying with this exchange. At this point playing rook d1 and keeping the control over the d file is better. A knight takes f2 can't be played uh, because of this bishop f3. And now white can not only win it, but also rook d2 can be a very nasty threat. Uh, instead, Tal played rook takes d8. f3, knight c5, and then he offered an exchange of second pair of rooks. Yes, Tal hurried too much with the simplifications. And despite the fact that he has an extra pawn, black has compensation because black has a better activated king. Uh, all in all, we have an equality on the board. Knight b2, c5, knight c4 check, king e2, a6, bishop b3, king c3, after which we see the exchange of last minor pieces. Uh, at this point, we have a total equality, but it was in here that Tal made a fatal mistake and played king e3. This is losing. At this point, a3 is the move, protecting the pawn on b4. And now if you come after that pawn on a3, then white will play king d3, and suddenly this black king, which was very active up to this point, finds itself on the rim. And now we have an equality. Well, white has a slightly better king, and all in all this is going to end up in a draw. When equality is on the board. Instead we see king e3, after which Tal lost the pawn on b4. How on earth could he allow that move? Now let's see how is the game going to end up. While white king is busy with munching the pawn on a6, black king is gaining a precious time and hurrying towards white pawns. White king is too late. There we have it. The pawn on f3 also drops. King e4. And after king takes h6, f4. Tal resigned. Yeah, very painful loss, I think. From the beginning of the game, 
Tal very easily managed to gain advantage but in the end spoiled everything. First going for an exchange on d8 was not good, then he made that catastrophic king e3 move and spoiled everything. After this game the match score becomes 3-2. Uh, in the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the winning line for white. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Feel free to check out the other games played in this match. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.